What's up everybody? Welcome back to New Garden Road. This is where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate your earthy self. I'm gonna pick some broccoli today. I've been real excited about it. My wife got to pick the first two heads. I was a little bit jealous, but that's okay. I got a few more out here I'm gonna cut. And guess what? It's the middle of January in Austin, Texas. It's crazy, I'm growing organic broccoli. One other thing I'm really excited about, I got a new tool for Christmas. Okay, it's not like brand new to me, but it's a new tool, you know what I'm saying? And it's my hoary hoary knife. It's pretty straightforward. You're harvesting some broccoli, you're just gonna cut the stalk off. You can get a little bit more out of it if you're mindful of the side shoots. You may see some of those have already appeared and are growing. You're gonna be able to harvest those continually. You keep feeding that plant, you keep picking the side shoots, and you're gonna get food for you know probably another couple of months uh, until it uh, starts getting warm and the things bolt. But yeah, don't forget about those side shoots. Those are real important. And you know why would you grow a veggie for a few months just to get one big crown? Why not get as much food as possible? So I want to show you where I'm gonna cut it and what I'm looking for if I want to uh, make sure I get the most side shoots. And also just remember. The stalk of the broccoli is really edible. You might want to you know, peel some of the uh, outside skin off of that thing, but man, you can get a lot of food out of one stalk of broccoli. And I'm going to show you, they are pretty big this year. I'm real excited. I can't wait to pick them. So here we go. Here's the deal. I was hoping I could get this little camera down here in this bed and show you some real live action of where I'm cutting this broccoli stalk, but it's too thick in there. Too many leaves. You won't be able to see a thing. So, mm. Yeah. That's a little side shoot right there. You can see it like a little mini broccoli. Delicious. Okay, coming out right here. So I'm gonna cut this broccoli right about this point. Okay, because that's the first side shoot I see coming out. So that's gonna give me all that stalk right there. And that beautiful, slightly past ready head of broccoli. Always good to have a little harvest basket or box or whatever you got going to help your produce stay a little bit cleaner from the garden to the kitchen. All right, just a little pro tip. Get you a harvest basket. Okay, so like I said, I pointed out where the little baby broccoli crowns are, where they're shooting out, and I'm going to cut the stem just above that because I want as many uh, broccoli crowns in the future as I can get. Here's what I'm going to do. I need to prune off some of these big leaves around the base of this stalk so that I can get at it a little bit better. I don't want to chop this thing up too much. You don't have to throw those leaves in the compost pile. Those are real good eating. They're going to be real sweet, kind of like collard greens. Uh, they're in the same family. so. Make sure you save the leaves of the broccoli, that's good eating. So what I'm going to try to do is a tip to get my hoary hoary knife in there and just like a serrated knife I'm going to saw it off. <laughs> I'm excited. Look at that. It's like big as my head. See, this one's not quite as tight as some of them are. Um, it's probably going to be opening up and flowering. Um, particularly if we had some days of sun, you can see it. But still, uh, going to be really good to eat. So, check it out. And there's already like a dozen broccoli side shoots uh, coming out. Just remember, if you like what you see here, you want to see more of it, please subscribe to my page, New Garden Road. Coming at you. I want to tell you about these broccoli side shoots. You want to cut them at the base of the main stalk. That's going to encourage more. And also, that whole thing is food. Right here, that whole guy. Yeah, so if you if you prune it right here, what's going to happen is it's going to re-sprout and they're going to be all thin. But if you if you cut them here at the main stalk, and you continue to feed and care for this broccoli like you have the whole time it's been growing so far, you're more likely to get more side shoots of this kind. Which, I mean, honestly, they look like perfect little bite-sized broccoli. Why wouldn't you want more of that? I would expect to harvest probably three to four more times. So you can get quite a lot of food. I've got 10 plants growing. I planted them in October 2018. Yeah, so middle of January 2019. Austin, Texas. Broccoli coming at ya. Get healthy. 
cutting that main broccoli stalk and getting that big old head of broccoli that's not the end of the road you can keep feeding it you can keep caring for it and you'll get side shoots for you know a couple of months as long as the weather works out good here in uh, Austin you know I would expect probably sometime around February or March depending on the weather these things might start to bolt and they'll be done at that point but I, I would expect to get three or four rounds of side shoots that's gonna be a lot of food I'm probably gonna do some blanching and freezing I'm definitely gonna do a lot of roasting I love my roasted broccoli and my wife is really good with the raw broccoli salads Mm. thanks for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some tips I hope you are inspired by what I do because I love what I do I want to share with you yeah so just remember leave me some questions and comments below if you're inspired and subscribe to my page hey wait a minute I still got broccoli to harvest get back to work